All right, Joseph, uh, big names like Mark Coleman, Frank Shamrock, Pretty Dominic big. Cruz, a guy you know very well. Uh, do you know what you have in common with them or potentially have in common with them? Um, stunning features, chiseled features. It's always going back to the model thing, isn't it? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, would have to be a uh, first ever champion in their weight class. Little the, piece of trivia there. Does that make you nervous that you have a chance, either you or Demetrius, to become the first ever flyweight champion of the UFC? Nervous is definitely not the word. You know, excitement, you know, is really the word. I'm excited for it, man. That's that's why we do this, right? To work it, to 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 make history, you know, to do you know great things like this, and that's what I've been shooting for. You know, since I started this sport, you know, when I got in, it was to be the best and I've worked so hard for it and visualized it so much and it's finally here. So, you know, not nervous for it. I'm just ready for it, ready to do it and ready to complete this goal and start a whole start a whole new story. A lot of guys tell me that the, the Wednesday and Thursday of fight week are the most difficult because you want to be done talking. You've got to cut weight. You just want Saturday to come. How, how anxious are you for Saturday night? Ah, pretty anxious, man. Like I said, I've been. It's like that the last two weeks. I mean, all you want to do is really fight. You know, at that point, you know, there's not too much sparring and hard stuff going on. You don't want to be in the gym all day like you are, you know, the, the six, eight, whatever weeks leading up to it. So, yeah, it's a little different. But these last days, you know what? I'm just trying to soak it all in, man. You know, this is for the UFC title, first ever title, and this is an amazing experience for me. So, you know, I'm just trying to soak it all in. You know, Saturday is going to come you know, whether I like it or not, you know, when it's going to come, when it wants to come. So, you know, in between there, I'm just, like I said, man, just soaking in every second and enjoying this experience, man. Something I'm going to remember forever. I've long maintained that you flyweights are like video games. Like you so playing a video game, there's more happens in a, in a flyweight scramble uh, than a George St. Pierre title fight in a full round. Uh, but there's still people out there that say, nah, I don't want to watch these little guys fight. Come on, they're too small. I mean, what do you say to those critics? Yeah. Most of those guys just, like, heard that somewhere, and then they just repeat it. Like, they heard some big guy say, I don't want to watch little guys, and they're like, oh, yeah, me either. I don't want to watch little guys. The truth is, when you see the fight, you know, we're going to deliver 100%, and you're going to be like, holy cow, you know, what just happened? That was a way more exciting fight than this other guy, you know, that I enjoy and that I'm wearing the shirt of or whatever, you know. So it's just the fact of us going in there and, and delivering, man, I mean, you know, you're gonna, we're going to get the finishes. We're going to get the knockouts. Something you're going to see in our weight class that you won't see in any other is what you mentioned, you know, the scrambles and the nonstop action, you know, and, and pace that we complete. I mean, it's no secret. I mean, it's a fact a 200-pound man is going to get tired before a 125-pound man. You know, a 200-pound man is not going to move as fast as a 125-pound man. So, I mean, you know, speed's awesome. You know, why do you think that – the sprint track and field is the most exciting event because it's the fastest. And, you know, that's what we're going to do. So it's just a matter of getting eyes on it. You know, I'm going to go in there and, and fight for myself and make it the most exciting weight class, you know, that, uh, th that it, that's possible. I don't want to give you guys any bad karma. Actually, Demetrius was happy that I said it, but if there was ever a fight that I wish would go five rounds, it'd be this one here because I get to see you guys do those scrambles yeah. and transitions and stuff. Do you think it's going to go five rounds? You know what? Me, when I prepare, I prepare to finish the guy. You know, I'm prepared for five rounds. You know, it, it's, it's different because I go in there and I got to visualize, like, I'm finishing this guy, you know, as soon as I can. You know, I'm going to dominate it. I'm better than him. You know, you think all that stuff. You know, you're ready to kill him. But you're always prepared for the – me anyway. I'm prepared for the hardest 25 minutes of my life. I know I have to possibly go through 25 minutes of hell, you know, to get what I want to get. So, you know, I'm prepared for that, and it's very possible with an opponent like Demetrius, you know, to go five rounds. But, you know, of course, I'm looking in there not only become the first ever champion, but become the first ever to finish him. And I promise, guys, it'll be exciting up until that point. If you don't get all 25 minutes, it'll be exciting as long as it goes. And, and if you want excitement, people should be following you on Twitter because this thing with Michael Bisping has taken a life of its own. I think it's actually <laughs> funny, but yeah. I, I don't think Michael thinks it's too funny. You're, you're getting jokes out of it. Uh, what do you make of all this? Is it, I mean, it's not distracting you, is it? No, I mean, it's not really a big deal. I mean, if you see anything about my responses, they're pretty just subtle and not really caring. I don't really play into it too much. You know, I have a world title to worry about. You know, I have an opponent to worry about. And if anyone knows me, I don't talk much smack not even to my opponent, so why am I going to talk smack to, you know, someone someone else that's not my opponent, so it's just fun, you know, I mean, you know, it was pretty cool, I mean, I got so many responses just from Twitter, just, you know, fans are so awesome and passionate out there, you know, just taking sides, but, you know, Michael's cool, you know, we had our little, whatever you want to call it, uh, at the beginning, you know, at the press conference about the co and, and main event, and, you know, we were cool after that, 
So, you know, now we have this. So it's just, you know, one thing. He makes a few jokes. I make a few jokes. I'm not really playing into it too much. I like the guy. And, you know, like I said, it's awesome to, to have him on the card. He's cool. As he mentioned, he's ready to make history on Saturday night, taking on Demetrius Johnson to be crowned the first ever UFC 125-pound champion of the world. Air Canada Center, Saturday, September 22nd.